Hello everyone! In this tutorial I would like to share with you the technique that I discovered while playing in Blender, the peeling effect. But first of all I would like to mention that there can be an easier ways to do it, but unfortunately I don't know about them. So I really would appreciate if you can write in the comments what other option there can be. So let's start. For the demonstration I'll be using just a plane. Ok, let's scale it. Let's apply the rotation and scale, then tap, U, on wrap. Then W, subdivide it, and we'll be subdividing for 50 times. And also we need to triangulate the faces, because I notice that triangles works very good with this kind of simulation. After that we need to create a trigger. We'll be using the sphere. So in the object mode, Remove all the visibility for the trigger and type it well, like wireframe so it won't intersect with our main object. So fit them together so the corners will fit normally, perfectly even. After that, let's create a dynamic paint for both of them. Firstly, the main object. It will be the canvas. We'll be using the weight. Also, we need to check the fading box and type it 10, 50 or 20, depending on your situation. Also, we need to create a vertex group, like that. <clears throat> After that, we need to create dynamic paint for that trigger. We'll be using the brush and mesh volume and proximity. Well, that's basically it. After that, select the main object, space and quick explode. Then go to the particle system, expand the lifetime, then starting point and ending point supposed to be 1, and remove the physics over here. After everything is done, we need to put the dynamic paint to the bottom, like that. After everything, we need to animate the trigger. Firstly, we need to keyframe the location and let's do it for 60 frame. Let's put it a bit above and put another keyframe. Let's see it. Yeah, looking normal. After that, we need to go to the physics tab and add a close simulation. So we need to increase the mass or 7 approximately and the structural we need to make it less like for 1 also we need to type it pinning and choose that weight group that we create or vertex group it doesn't matter so and lower the stiffness to 0 0.1 also I am lowering the spring I noticed that it's working quite good for the peeling we'll be using that and self collide Ok, let's preview everything. Yeah, ok. Also, I did in the scene, I removed the gravity. It was minus 9, I put plus 9, basically. So that everything goes up that then, then goes down. Also we need to put it in a smooth shading. Like that. Yeah. <clears throat> also you can add uh, some kind of object like plane, put it a bit up, scale it apply the scalar rotation, subdivide it a bit, maybe like that, and they use wireframe modifier, make it thicker, make it longer, and apply the wireframe mode. And in the physics, make a collision. Let's preview it.
So this is the technique, basically. Then go to the main object and in the close cache. Yeah, this one. Choose the, the time from which to which it goes. Then save, Control S, save it like peeling. And you can bake it. After that, render it out. No peeling effect. So, thank you for watching. And test it. Render. Good job.